In this video, we'll look at how to use our ASP.NET file manager with an Amazon S3 storage account. I'll show you how to set up the Amazon account for our app, and then we'll look at how to add the file manager for both ASP.NET and MVC extensions. First, sign in to an Amazon account. On the Web Services Overview page, under Administration and Security, choose Identity and Access Management. Now choose Groups, and then Create New Group, and give it a group name. On the next page, locate the Amazon S3 Full Access Policy, and click Select. Click through to confirm the policy, and then Create Group. Now, choose Users and click Create New Users, enter a username, and click Create. On the next page, click here to show user security credentials. Then, copy both the Access Key ID and Secret Access Key credentials. We'll need to use them in a bit. Next, click on Amazon's orange box to go back to the Web Services Overview and choose Identity and Access Management. Choose Groups and then select the created group. Add the user to the group by clicking on the button here. Select the user we just made and click Add Users. Let's go back to the Web Services Overview and choose S3 under the Storage and Content Delivery section. Click on Create Bucket and then give it a bucket name and a region. All right, now open our web application in Visual Studio and add the ASPX file manager from the toolbox. Specify the provider type as Amazon. Under the Amazon settings, add our bucket name and region from earlier. And then paste the access key ID and secret access key accordingly. I also recommend that you change the settings for editing by changing these Allow options to True. And if I run the app, you'll see that our file manager works and is connected to our Amazon account. Now let's look at how to connect it using an MVC extension. Open the Home Index View and then right-click here in the markup. Then choose Insert DevExpress MVC Extension at the bottom. And our wizard appears. Here, choose the Data tab and then File Manager. Under Binding Mode, choose Custom Provider and click Insert. Now, locate the controller and change the type of the static model property in the added Home Controller File Manager Settings class to Amazon File System Provider. Also, change the getter code of this property and initialize the access key ID and secret access key with the code we copied earlier, along with the bucket name and region. You can also remove this additional code in the controller class. Now, when I run the application, you can see our file manager is working and connected to Amazon. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.